Right, well, good evening everybody and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. Just wipe me mouth there because I'm a bit whew, parched and a bit tired. Hey, right. I don't know if you noticed but we're out at our new location. Aye. <laughs> I'm not saying where it is, I'm not doing any walks into this place whatsoever. This is a proper a need to know basis area. So basically it'll be in the camp location and that's it like but we've got a lovely water supply we've got a brilliant little area obviously it's past tea time now it's about half past five or something so it's getting dark so we just need to get set up um we've been out and wrecked this a couple of days ago and since we've wrecked obviously you can see there's a bit of snow on the ground it's even worse outside the trees so yeah and anyway i'm gonna get set up i've brought a, a tent where is this this time and a tarp and right let's have a quick look at me set up and I've, I've, I've been doing lots of other tasks off camera as well like i'm just getting the um the fire pit handy which is absolutely brilliant bits of ground because it's got loads of stones and pebbles in and everything so it's going to be great for making a fire in but Rooney's come over to see my domain because we're actually quite far apart from each other. But he's about at least, what, 20 foot? Oh, about, he's about 20 foot away from us. You kind of see him because it's in the dark. But he's over here at my location. I still need to get another stick though to raise me top up and then I'll just take the stick out in the night time. But anyway, this is my this is my setup for tonight. I brought a chair with us. I'm not doing the bushcraft chairs anymore. The dummy napper and falling off them. You'll see it on one of the videos. But this is the the all the all pro Voyager. It's got a 5,000 static head. Um, it's 1.9 kilos. I've done a video on it. I'll put a link in the description to that video if you want to know anything else about it because I'm not doing a review on it. Um, I've got the main fly tied open. I don't like it because it's like it's getting ripped open um, on that final tie there. It's got it's like a winter outer which is going to come in handy for tonight because the temperature is going to drop like. And uh, it's see, as you can see it's got that many bloody zips you just didn't know which one to pull like. And then it's got, uh, well actually I'm, uh, if you want to know where it's got look at the video. All right, because I'm starting to do a bloody review there, no. But that's the inside of it in any way. All right, well, so... it's very tidy, Jimmy. It is very tidy. I've got all my spare clothes and my waterproofs down there. All my electrics and my bits and pieces I want to grab a hold of at the night time. All right, and then I've got my Firmarest silver foil mat thing on there. Another Firmarest mattress, a Trekology pillar, an OAX Le 5 and 4 season sleeping bag. All right. So, and I've got a lamp inside there as well. So that's my basic setup for the inside. And then down here, I've got all my all tools and everything that I need to get a hold of for doing wood prep. And my main bag's there. I've got a couple of bits and pieces to get out of there still. And then once I've done that, that'll be getting its rain cover on it and then flipped upside down. So it's uh, gonna be protected because we're gonna get poured down for the next two days. And I've got a, a nice comfy seat, look. So Rooney's, I thought I'd get wet on the inside before I get wet on the outside. Rooney's cracked the can open already. I'm dying at first, me like. But um, I've done it uh, one, yeah. two steps away. It was a big mound of uh, moss, so I've took the moss off and put it over there. Sorry, Rooney, I'm just busy doing this bit. And then I started digging into here, but when I've dug in, there's loads of rocks. And as you can see, it's like pebbles underneath, so there's no crap going to be burning. So it's a great place to have a fire. So I'm going to dig a pit pit there and I'm going to get a fire started because we have got to cook a big meal tonight, haven't we? We we'll have, it's going to take a couple of hours. A couple of hours. So we're going to be doing a 12 o'clock feast again, I think. But I can definitely feel a chill changing, can you? I can feel the wind picking up, yes. Aye, and me top's dead high at the back so we're not going to be totally protected. Uh, well, you know, there's but, professionalism in Aye, but I wanted, a, I wanted a top, I want my heat. Yes, I totally agree with you, Jimmy. Aye, right, but we're going to sit next to the tent, the tent will protect me a bit. And all the smoke will blow down to Rooney because Rooney's down there. <laughs> I certainly am. But I was thinking about having a fire over there, like, and we're all going to set up next to each other, but it was just too lumpy bumpy down there for me, like, lying on roots and that for two days isn't going to be fun. But if, if the rain holds off, 
I think I might might change my area and go on the next mountain across. <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink. I thought you might have wanted a video of my setup, Jimmy. Oh, we well, how are you then? <laughs> let's, let's go and have a look at Rooney's setup. Yes. So that's why he's sitting with all his mates, looking at the yeah. wall. Yeah. We'll, we'll show you around later on, Steve, anyway. This is the outer shell. Well, we can't see because you're standing in the way. It looks like a margarita in that, doesn't it? It does, mate. Aye. Aye, but you know, nah, if we had a nice place over there, we could have your place to sit because all the wind will not come here. Aye, yeah. so. But oh, I've, like, I've started. There's the annex. There's his. The Lanashana tour. Aye, ah, he's got his lunch on too. I wish I brought mine now, you know, because I tell you what, that, that old pro is like a coffin, and I mean being in it properly yet. But aye, Rooney's, Rooney's looking at the three sisters. Look, he's got three big trees in front of him. And uh, Rooney, I think, I, I think, oh, I think it'll be too rooty here, you know, to have a fire aye. next to them trees. I think we'll just set this up in mine. But I wish I had brought me 4.5 by 4.5 top now. Because I could have made a big setup, but Rooney's got a, a plough here. He's going to be sitting in here uh, playing with himself yes. while I'm sat up there doing exactly the same. And we'll that's be getting naked and dancing with the obviously that must be your entrance into the tent, is it? Yes. E hey. So either or. Got the back door there. Everybody likes a bit of back door. Aye. Read <laughs> <laughs> 80 there. in this video now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a cold heat now. I can feel but, uh, the temperature. I need to get this food prepped and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I need to get on with it. Aye. That, so. so, anyway, that's Rooney's really set up. We'll have a look inside tomorrow if he hasn't paid it. All right. So <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm going to come pee in yours too. <laughs> You'll have to try and get in, it's tiny. Right. <laughs> and anyway. I don't think it's that tiny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. I need to get a fire pit done and get the fire gun and I'll bring his back when that's right. sorted. Right. Everybody, hello. And welcome back. <laughs> God, I feel we're breath doing things. But anyway, what I've done is I've dug a, I've dug a nice uh, fire pit there. That light, I didn't know what's going on with me light, like. But uh, and anyway, I've dug a nice fire pit and I put all the soil around the outer edges just to protect the moss and all the moss has been peeled back. And anyway, really. But anyway, that it is. Rooney's over here now. He's going to be preparing the tea for tonight. So we're going to be having a a beef stew. No. No? I, I let Rooney say them because it's his food. I, it's I, just, be, ca I just carried it. It's going to be a beef and eel stew with chunky vegetables. And, and that's going to be the main... Oof. You can start stroking your thighs and all Some that. Some Brunier. Brunier. Provagiori drink. <laughs> Not yet, Guinness. Brunier. Brunier. Right, so I'm going to start chopping. Got some other veggies and obviously I've got a thingy of spices and everything there, so, Aye. Gun in so, so because when you were going to be late and it was supposed to be pouring down with rain and snow and everything and on the borders where we are now so i've had lots of cherry wood in the back garden seasoning for about over a year now so i sliced and diced a lot of it up the other day i brought three bags we've got a spare bag for tomorrow to use as well main fire starting wood because it's going to pour down halfway through the middle of the night for the rest rest of what uh my journey here so i've went and prepped loads of it here so some people might say oh you've come out in the woods and you've brought your own wood well tough titties just about every youtuber on the youtube platform does it don't they Rooney? so we're doing it because it's actually brilliant wood so i'm going to get the fire prepped i'm going to get it started so when Rooney's ready to cook there'll be a nice little bit of embers and i need to get my grill out as well didn't i well, we need to make a pot hanger. Right, once I've got the fire started, I'll make a pot hanger and then we'll get all sorted. I'm waffling loads and I'm going to see you later. Okey dokey then. Right, it's time to get the fire started. So, all I've got, I've made a bit of a, a stack. Yeah, I've got one of these wax things. I'm not mucking around. Mucking around, I mean, sorry. I'm just going to use my little silky on top of my um, ferrous seam rod and see what happens. Oh, I didn't knock all the wood off, like. Sparks are going everywhere apart from where they're supposed to go, but there it is. And I'm just going to put that in the middle there, where I've got another one of them. And then we'll get the fire started. 
and see how well that goes. Yeah, so the, the silky has two jobs now. First union rod striker and cutting. <laughs> Let's see how my wood goes up. And then I can get another jacket put on. But it seems to be going alright like. I'll put another one of them wax things on the inside of the wood. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get some of these tiny little bits and just drop them through. The little gaps. So obviously this is um, cherry wood that it is that we're burning tonight and it, it's burning quite well. So that's happy days like. And then I've got, obviously I've got some bits of, uh, what do you call it here as well, um, fence posts. I'll put that on the top and we'll just let, let the fire go on. Happy days like, happy days indeed. Yeah. Right, so we'll just cut up a little bit more wood there, just to keep me going for the uh, get my food. But uh, definitely worked the sweat up there, like didn't I? And and Rooney, what did you think of that big boy? Big boy. Nah, I read them saws like on the. They're brilliant. Aye, I tell you what, I've, I've, I wish I had got the majors going me like. As much as I love me Laplander, it just doesn't cut as good as a silky like. But. If you're not careful, you'll end up with a little hand. Yeah. Like that is. Aye. Bitters. But anyway, um, we've got the food on the go on the tripod there, and Rooney's lovely new shiny pot. Uh, and oh, look at that. Lovely, jubbly. A couple of hours, and that'll be done. God knows what time it is. Just been what time is it, Rooney? Time is it? Well, the big oh. hand is on the eight, <laughs> and the little hand, I've got that wrong, the little hand hey, is on the, the eight, and the big hand is on the 38. Oh, so it's nearly 20 to nine. Yes. See? Just gonna have to drink longer. Aye. Have to wait on well, I've got my first Jack Daniels in my Soto cup. I like drinking out of that, because you can put the, the, um, the foil bit around, that keeps everything nice and warmer and it stops you from getting a cold hand. So happy days like. Rooney's on the Stella Artois. I've got, a, I've got a couple of them in the car. I think I might get them tomorrow. Go for a little walk to the car. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Right, well, it's uh, nearly 11 o'clock at night. We've just been sitting chilling. And uh, we've got the grill on there. We're just gonna let the the fire died down a little bit. We're just going to check the food, see how it's doing. It's been on for quite a while now. So, I think it's just about right to eat, isn't it? Yep. Let's, uh, let's have a butcher's, see what it's like. Oh, hey. Oh, the smell of vision worked. Oh, that looks lovely, that. Full of goodness. Reach, let's get served now. Aye. Oh. Put your camera down. 
a ver un poco de tics. Bueno, ni lo clavo a nada. Eh? Yep. Where's my spork? Can you pop it somewhere? I've got a glove on. Oh. Look at that. There's going to be plenty in there, like, and it smells bloody lovely. All the, the veg and the bits of meat and everything. Oh, lovely. Let's get a little bit of meat, a little bit of veg. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It's Brunel, that. Newcastle Brunel. Oh, yeah, look at that's hot. I'll just take a little bit of meat. Mmm. Oh, my God. That is absolutely fantastic, Rooney. Tell you what. He gets a thumbs up from me, he does. <laughs> right, we're gonna sit back, chill out, relax, and eat this food, because it is finger licking good. And I'll see you in a bit. Right, well, hi everybody. It's um, 25 to one in the morning, and I don't know if you can hear it. But the rain's kicking in. So anyway, we had a good night. Food was cracking like Rooney's surpassed itself yet again. It was absolutely amazing uh, beef stew, stew casserole, whatever he wants to call it. But yeah, having the bottle of brown ale in it. Oh, hey, the flavours were just amazing. Like, and then we had some naan breads a bit later on. We're an extra little bit of portion of the stew. We've got enough left there for our dinner tomorrow. So that's happy days. And then we're having a curry tomorrow night. So I'm looking forward to that. Like, I like I like Rooney's curries. And then tomorrow, the pan is going to be absolutely hiding it down. Like so, we're just going to have to play by ear and see how we go, and do some wood prep, ready for tomorrow night. So we're not going anywhere, we're, we're staying here till Monday morning, like. But anyway, good night. I'll see how it goes in this tent. Lying in here now, I, I feel like it's got a lot more space than what I thought it had. But other than that, what we used to be in a tent, like. But we'll see how it goes with the condensation and things, and, uh, yeah. I'm out the elements, I'm not going to be getting hit by any wind or anything in my face all night. I've got a couple of tarps up, a swell above the tent. So, happy days like. And anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and I'll say goodnight. Right, well, morning everybody. It's uh, 20 to 7 in the morning. It sounds like it's getting a bit rainy. And a bit windy. Look upon me. But I tell you what, like, I'm dead warm in this tent. I've had to actually take my top part of my body out of. I've got my two t shirts on, my neck thing still on, and my hat on. And I've had to take. I've had to take my top part of my body out of my sleeping bag because I was just too warm. But, uh, yeah. It's got a little bit wet and a little bit rain, windy outside. Like, let's have a quick look and see what's happening. Because as you can see, the tent's blowing a little bit. Like, so I'm just hoping it's not going to be too bad. Let's just get this bit open. I don't know if you'll see outside, like, because it's so dark. But yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. Let's have a look and see with this on. Got a little bit of waterage on there because I pulled that in earlier on, like. Yeah. Alright, my top's come down, one of my corners. Um, I thought the peg was a little bit slack, like where I had the poles keeping it up. But 
Other than that, not too bad. Chair's looking a bit wet on part of it as well, like. So, never mind. As long as my boots are dry, my chair can easily be covered up with a pad, but I'm not going out there just yet. What we'll do is we'll just zip that back up. But it's all eaten here. A little bit of condensation on the uh, on the top of the cups and that. But everything else is uh, yeah, dry in here. My boots are dry. That's the main thing. I should have put what I normally do with my boots is I normally put one of my stuff sacks over the top of it, which I haven't done. I forgot to do. Oh, that's got me frying pan in that. But yeah, that's what I forgot to do. But as you can see, the tent, the inner, has quite a good gap in between the outer and the inner end on this tent lake. So that's happy days. Yeah, I'm just gonna lie here. If I fall back asleep, I fall asleep if I didn't. Then it's gonna get light in about an hour. So I'll just try and get my head done. There's nothing I can do. I know the tarp's down, but there's no point in just getting up, getting dressed, put the tarp back up to jump back into bed again. So I might as well just leave it. It's been like that most of the night, probably. So I'll just leave it as it is. And I'll catch you later when I'm up and dressed. Right, well, as you can see, I've just put my top up quickly, but um, the ground is absolutely sodden. Um, I'm all right where I am. It seems like I'm on a bit of a, a higher point, but the rain's come down that much last night. we well, fire pits full of water, and this part here is absolutely, I think that's why my pegs come out, because it's absolutely, you can see underfoot, it's all like marshy. And this pit here is just proper swamp like and it goes right the way down next to where Rooney is so yeah but I'll just put that top like that for now as you can see I've got most of my stuff under here it's quite low down like but it'll do so anyway I'm gonna get a few little bits of admin sorted get a jacket on and uh, I'll catch you in a bit like because I think we're gonna be in a flood plain today Right, well, that's me tall fixed back up now. For now, in any rate, I'll see how it goes. So what I've done is, i put the pole back stand up on the edge here. I've pegged in a wooden stake right in um, about a foot, two foot into the ground, because it's getting quite sudden. That stayed up quite nice. And then I've just tightened everything up. Then I've just went and cut my cellar bit of wood. I'm going to have to put something in between it like on the top just in case it rips my top but I've got it on one of the the, um, the tie out points where the square is so it's a bit stronger the material but I'll possibly get something I think I've got a spare hat or something and I'll put that under there as well and that'll just protect the material from the uh, edges of the wood it seems quite sturdy quite tight and it's given a nice run off in all directions now and I can stand up under here as well. So I can stand up here and then I've got plenty of room to sit once I get myself organised, get tidied up. I'm glad I brought all the wood underneath my top last night that we had left. So happy days. But we're going to have to bail out the, um, the fire pit for tonight. I don't think we'll be having a fire during the day. Like I'm not really 100% sure. Possibly we will do. Like. So we'll try and rig something up to protect the fire pit a bit as well. Um, it's just going to be one of those days where it's going to be constantly raining and a bit windy. So we'll just have to go with the flow, see how it goes. 
and uh, see how flooded this little area gets because it's, it's quite boggy down there now it was bone dry last night so we've had a canny bit of rain come and uh, obviously we're at the bottom of a slope so as you can see there's a bit of wind damage with trees up the top end and there's a bit just over to the back over there as well but other than that not too bad there isn't too much sway on the trees that's directly near where so that's happy days the outer edge is moving a little bit like so that is a bit of a concern but like i say we'll just keep monitoring the situation as we go on we're not in any major storm or anything it's just a bit of wind and rain so like i say we'll see how we're going but Rooney's, Rooney's over there. I think he's just getting a bit of admin sorted out as well. And uh, that's it really. It's not freezing cold though. That's the, that's the good thing. It's wet, it's windy, but it's mild. It's quite strange actually. There's loads of snow on the ground last night. It's all gone now. Oh, there he is. I've just seen him. Take his seat over there. There he is. <laughs> Ah, yeah, you seen all the swamp, yeah. Do you see him just for the toilet? Like, yeah, that's what it is. And that is, isn't it? And anyway, yeah. <laughs> we'll assess the situation, like I said, and we'll see what happens, but I can't see it being a problem. <laughs> right, see you later. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> Rooney's trying to be funny. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's lashing down. It's now 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's put your camera down, see if we can get we in it. Aye. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, we've had our breakfast. We're on my second brew. We're top bound. It's absolutely pouring down. And we're just watching the build up of water. Obviously it's sloping down that way towards Rooney's location where he's yep. camping. And uh, yeah. We've got a bit of a, a swimming pool going on now for definite in my fire pit. So I'll just dig a channel out of that later and that'll be more water. Might make some paper boats later on, like see who can race across, race across the channel. You know what I mean? <laughs> but aye, it's, um, it's an extremely wet day. All the plans we had of um, going for a yomp around, I've just been out onto the other side there and it's a bit more windier on the outer side and the river's actually over flooded a bit like but uh, I don't really want to go out and I'm not sure if I'm going to do any footage of the outside of the woods because I don't really want to give the location away if anybody's been here before but um, yeah what he was trying to say was it's wetter than an otter's pocket it is so, yeah, so we might have to do a little bit of uh, emergency trench work. Um, fair enough. Aye. I'm aye. sure they had these problems when they were doing the channel tunnel. But, uh, aye, it's slowly working towards my house. Yeah. So my house needs to be protected at all costs. So I'm, I'm on a higher bit of ground than what Rooney is like. So we'll probably have to dig a trench for him just to save his, save his um, swamping himself out. Turn it it's off. just the screen, front screen oh. turns itself off screen. But then if I tap the back here, it comes back. Oh, oh. oh. magic! <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do with the day. I know we definitely need to get a bit more firewood for tonight and possibly this afternoon because we've got some stew left from last night for dinner. So it's either a case of uh, using all my gas to get it heated up or make a fire in torrential downpour and apparently it's going to be like this all day as well so we've picked a great day to come out camping it's wet it's windy swampy it's not mega cold though is it no thank god i think i'll uh, be getting a bikini out though if it keeps on like this i'm going to swim Aye. yeah the, um, the dishes from last night are just about full of water <laughs> <laughs> right, right for Rooney to wash them and uh, yeah that's about all that's happening really 
So I'm going to finish off this brew and then I may go for a poo. Hey, that was like a four minutes. I'm going to finish off you're this. You're reporting you didn't know it. I'm going to finish off this brew and I might go for a poo. And you're reporting you didn't know it. I think I'll be packing away some gear like just in case we need to bug out. But um, yeah, I don't think we will. We'll just dig a trench. We'll be all right. Yep, indeedy. All right then. So now anyway, no Catch. waffling going on. Catch you in a bit. So you see. See you in a bit. See you later. See you later. Alligator we'll, in a while, we'll, crocodile. We'll, we'll bring you back. The partner didn't know it. <laughs> right, so you can see the extent of our flooding situation here. Yeah. It's coming all the way down and it's now heading towards Mr. Rooney's setup. So we're just starting to dig a trench there. You can see the trench is already filling in, isn't it? Right. So we're going to dig it all the way around here and down because you can see it's all getting flooded here as well. So, yeah. I am trying to keep it back just as I want to put this grass on there and I can try and put it back in. Yeah. So then it's the one pass put in the peg. I've dug a slight little slit trench into the, where the fire pit is. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill that back in, cover it all up with the bits of moss I put at the back there to save it there, so it'll be a leave no trace sort of thing. And then over the back end of here, so as I walk through the swamp, then where the wall is there, it's all been knocked down. There's loads of nice bits of stone. So I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start ferrying some bits of stone over to here. And then I'm going to build a proper little stone fire but I'm going to make it oh god it's not swampy I'm going to make it down here a bit closer to the top because the fire wasn't that yeah camera just switched off there because the battery's dying uh, so I'm going to move the fire a little bit closer in anyway build a stone fire place and that, that will get us set up for tonight because uh, the, the water's just filling the holes up right I've just had to change my battery this uh, GoPro 9 is uh, my third one now and to be quite honest it's cutting out again when the battery powers it like 40 percent and things so i'm not i'm not impressed with the gopro 9s like this is my third one they've sent us out now and uh, i've just had to change the battery this battery's got 34 percent left in it and charge and it's cutting out so that's not bloody good but anyway as i was saying i'm gonna make a, a wood um a, a stone fire pit a little bit closer because everything's just filling up with water. Obviously, we're at the bottom of a slope and everything runs downhill underground and that's where it's coming. So, but it is where it is. And we're still going to have fun. Regardless of the situation, it's going to be peeing down and all windy all day, but we're staying put and we're not going anywhere. Don't know why I'm talking like that. Yeah, we're staying put like, we're not moving. We've dug a slit trench for Rooney, it seems to be working quite well. Um, I'm on higher ground so I'm, I'm nice and dry and I've just checked at the rear of me set up as well and it's bone dry there as well. It just seems to be this little part here. You can see it's all building up now like uh, obviously the water running out of the, out of the fire pit is running down towards Rooney now as well. Just stop for a bit. Rooney's over in here, shelter. He's cutting up loads of little bits of wood off all the branches that we've cut off the bottoms of the trees to get the shelters in. So we're going to neutralise them tonight for part of the fire. 
but as you can see my cord is absolutely drenched the heavens have just opened up again I've just been collecting some rocks all these rocks are off not off the actual wall but all the bits that fell or off in the tall on the ground so I've got a pile over there I've just chipped very from around the back end there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make myself a bit of a fire pit with the rocks and collect as many as I can build a nice circle out with a nice back wall a few sides and it's going to be big enough just to hire enough heat off for, it, for tonight and to cook off and also it's going to be a nice level height hopefully when I fire all together so we can put the um, the tray, the, sorry the um, grill on the top as well um, we don't need a massive fire the water is just building up big style obviously I've got a bit of a ditch here so that will probably fill up the water because all the runoff off the, um, the top as you can see it's hammering it down like it's just giving me the screen a bit of a weight yeah it's proper torrential we're probably getting flooded down here like but what I've noticed is the fire pit that I dug for last night we've got a bit of a bit of a ditch at the back end here and that's full of water to run off through the woodland and the water must be seeping through there because you can see it puddling through the ground so that would be lovely fresh water to drink out of the puddle there like that I've dug but it's definitely filling up the water down here so we'll see how it goes like it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon now and I think this is going to be on all day so if Rooney gets swamped out I think we'll be packing up like but that, that trench that we've dug is definitely doing its job like that's happy days but uh, yeah I'm going to have five minutes, see if the rain calms down, if it doesn't, I'm just going to plod on, because I've got waterproofs on in any way, I need to get a fire pit sorted, I need to get that other one filled in and look as if it's like a leave no trace sort of situation, and uh, yeah, happy days, extreme wet conditions this one, definitely, I think it's like a 70% chance of rain today, I think it's hit it on the nail like, I think it definitely has, but it's not It's not cold, it's not blowing icy cold wind in, and that's even better. Because if it was like that, then I think it would just be a miserable camp, like. But we've, we've got the we've got that correct gear, we've got the correct cold, and if it does turn cold and nasty, but I think the temperatures are around about uh, 9 and 10 degrees, which is livable, like, easily. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. And I'll bring us back, hopefully the rain will give us a bit of a lull in the rain and I'll be able to get the fire pit sorted out. Alright, see you in a bit. Now we have it then, I've got a bit of a fire pit going, um, it's absolutely pouring down still, it's never stopped raining for a good two hours now, um, so I've got the fire pit which so raised off the ground with the platform of rocks, and some rocks going around, the only one I'm not really happy with is the one on the top right hand side, might change that over and see if I can get something a bit more flat, that's just so for laying the grill on later on, but I dropped a big rock down that corner and then ever since I've done that it's just been pooling, so I've had to take a channel in front of the fire pit to take the water away and then obviously there's a bit of a ditch here like and that's starting to fill up with water but we know for the next time we'll come up this area not to sleep in this area because it's a bit doggy like but it's all good fun and it's all part of the learning curve isn't it 
So we're going to sit and chill out for a bit because uh, we've been work, both working in the rain. Rooney's been snapping loads of um, the branches that were cut down ready for tonight. We've still got a bit of wood left over from last night as well and we've got a bit more prep to do. So we're going to chill out for a bit, get some fluids. I think we might have to um, do that in a smaller pan, you know, on the gas stove. What for dinner? Uh, we'll, 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 we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I'm waffling. I'm off. Lovely. Right, good evening everybody and welcome back. Me and Rooney are feeling fit, fight, fighting fit, because we've both had a good kip this afternoon. We're like, oh man. But there's nothing else today apart from sitting around in the pouring down with rain. So I've got a, a leaning tower of pizza here, ready, the same as last night. But what I've done is, I've used some of my packaging, I've just put the bag away in my pocket packaging the way that comes with all your stuff from the steak detective so steak detective yay packaging's getting used i'm just going to use one of these balls tonight no mucking around lighter and just drop that in there maybe i should have put the, the stuff in last like but now anyway, it's going to be an um, upside down fire this one because it started from the top. <laughs> His heat's upside down. <laughs> Your heat will be upside down. <laughs> right, so we're going to just let that burn away, get that air fires going nicely, and we're going to have a nice little curry for tonight. And I'm going to crack open a can of Stella before I do anything else. Because I've never had a can of Stella on a camp for ages. Funny enough, I was going to say, Jimmy, are you not going to ask Rooney? What's on the menu the night? Rooney! What's on the menu the night, mate? Um, I think we're going to have a Chinese chicken curry. Oh, yes. all right, with Chinese. With a little bit of extra chilli in it. Oh. Um, so, yes, and some mushers and various other acronyms. But, uh, yes, Chinese tonight. Yeah, yeah. I give you the rice, didn't I? The rice is in the ricery. In a bag. Right. In the ricery. Happy days, mate. So let's have a look. So there you go, look at the fires. The fires going well. That's that's a good way to start a fire. Oh, happy days, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the house of fun. The house of puddles. Welcome to the house of fun. Now we're done to do. <laughs> Jimmy, the man that only knows three. The man that knows three, three words to every song. <laughs> every song we sing on a night time when the camera's not on, I know the first three words, and that's it. I do, you know. And he's heard of Elvis Presley oh, as well. I, I, know, I know some songs, me, like, I know some belters <laughs> <laughs> in me head. <laughs> it's a bit like me, some of the people I work with, I've been working there for like, what, 15 years or something. And I just call them all mate. Because <laughs> I'm crap with names, oh. as most of you know. But anyway, I'm going to get a beer because Rooney's, Rooney's got his pint size, I've just got my babby size. But I have got a. Um, a quarter of a bottle of Jack Daniels to drink as well, like. But anyway, yeah, these have been put in the chiller to yeah. about four centigrade, <laughs> and uh, obviously had a sprinkle of um, hailstone on it with copious amounts of flurry and water yeah. running through the gales in the hills. Well, as you can see, it's um, it's still it's still a bit damp out here, but I've rearranged my top set up. I've got a pool in there. And I've got a pool here, so it gives me plenty of headroom. And I've rearranged the back top so it actually comes up underneath the back of the DD top. And that gives me an extra bit of protection as well, fingers crossed. And then I've got the, the Tramps um, washing line going there. Because all my goat x gear is just absolutely soaked wet through now. So, fingers crossed I didn't have to put it back on because it'll be horrible and cold. But anyway... Not obviously the other point, when you friend that we made, like when we're seeing it was wetter than an otter's pocket, I've met an otter called Bob, and he wears a blue wig. <laughs> but um, I kind of tell you his whereabouts because he says he's a rare Scottish otter. So anyway, it was nice talking to him, and he uh, we asked him to get with some like dead wood so we could burn it on the fire. You know what I mean? And he Which says, I need to get a grip of because it's looking hairy, but it needs to get sorted properly. But I do your job properly, like you should have done. Ah, you just sit there and chill out, Lee. Ah, I will all supervise. It's still gone, still gone, but I need to play with it a bit and get it better. Right, see you later, because we've waffled loads there. Uh, waffle, waffle, waffle.
Well, not only have we had to put up with torrential rain, a bit of sleet, now it's pouring down with snow. Fire's grown well low. I've had to lower one of the ends of the top a bit because we're just getting the, the snow and everything coming straight under. Might have to um, reassess the situation like, but as you can see, it's snowing and the wind's changed direction so it's pushing everything underneath my top whereas last night everything was going that way but uh, we're going to get snowed out we're going to get um, oh all the lights have gone out again we're going to get snowed out smoked out at least I can feel a bit of heat off the fire like Aye, this light's playing up quite a lot like Something else I'm going to send back with GoPro. Bloody useless company, I tell you. Bloody useless. But yeah. Oh, Rooney's over there, but he's 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 um at the toilet. Yeah, the fire fire is not doing too bad. I'm trying to get a bit of embers there, so I'm going to keep putting some stuff on. I've had to put black bags over some of the bits of wood. And some of this other stuff, yeah, it's just going to get high straight on. I'm going to stand in the swamp to put it on. Get some nice big bits on. And then I'll put some little bits on as well. Oh, sorry, camera's gone everywhere because I'm doing everything one-handed. I guess that'll be piss wet through on the inside and piss wet through on the outside. Yeah, well, we've had to put our waterproofs on, like... So I that man, look me foot. They're standing in that. <laughs> it's like me nana's knickers. <laughs> <laughs> but I, we're gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to put me coat edge jacket on. I think it's absolutely soaked and all. But I'll see because this is a bit waterproof, so I might just, I might just wing it. Like, thing is, kind of dump my spirits. Nah. Yeah, I'll dump dumping everything else. <laughs> Yeah, man, we on us all neat, but we'll never take our freedom. <laughs> <laughs> eh? We've got beer, we've got food, we've got fire, we've got snow, we've got wind, we've got rain. And we've got each other. We've got a fire. <laughs> that we kind of feel the heat on. Nah, we've got a heat that we... A fire that's raging that you kind of feel any heat on unless you stand over the top of it. And, uh, yeah. It's off from what? It's bloody great, like. Perhaps there's another come. Your hands are over there, isn't it? Right. Right, right. So now you wait. How many fires do you have a little moat round to stop them flooding? I know. How many, how many of you YouTubers have done that, eh? Fire in the Badlands. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone well, like, isn't it? I, I'm, I'm just expecting the string on the top of what, um Try pot to catch light soon, like <laughs> that'll just be the end of it. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get where's my can? Can of Stella. Never had one of these for donkey's years. But anyway, it's cracking in it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put my mittens on you now because uh, my hands are absolutely bollock. I didn't think you'll be able to do any knitting tonight. And but I've got these, where is the Arctic mittens. I've been sitting on them as a cushion, but I'm going to be putting them on my hands now because my hands are Baltic. And then, a bit later on, I'll be coming out and going, Hello, how are you doing? What are you like, eh? Hey? What are you got there, mate? You got a pot of stuff? Oh, lovely, yes, hello. <laughs> right, I've already had a can. <laughs> See, you've already had a can. <laughs> I've already had a can, like. No, anyway, wait, I'll catch us later. Right, well, we've got a nice bit of embers going on there. And uh, it's been um, a little few gales now and again, and a bit of snow and a bit of rain. Rooney's, rain. Rooney's drying his gloves off there. And uh, he's not doing too bad, like. So, turn your torch off, mate. Be honest. Tell it all to you. I've had to adapt a waterproof hood because this uh, 
army jacket doesn't happen to have one so I'm getting a little bit of a dump neck it's got the right name for you like on it but Peacocks it. <laughs> Peacock Peacock <laughs> Winnie Peacock one. right well we didn't bring you along for the full cookout because um, we just made it oh, mate, I need to get and, uh, we need to get it done don't we go on We've made, he's, Rooney's made a Chinese curry at home and all we've done is just added a bit of rice to it, put it in the big pan, heat it up. We've got some naan breads to go on with it. It smells lovely and it looks lush like. Kind of wait to get stuck into this. But it's going to be cold because Jimmy's making a video. Yeah, because of the making a video and he's dropping chunks of chicken everywhere, man. What's going on? That's going to be it. Eh? You've got two chunks of food on the floor. Oh, look at this man. Nan, 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 nan. <laughs> oh, well, somebody threw fucking half of the way, didn't it? Who? I had dropped half of the naan bread in the, on the, on the, um, what do you call it? On the fire. That's never, it. never mind. But that's, that's what food. I'll let you know what it was like when I've finished eating. Because uh, I'm going to sit down, relax, Hold and on, enjoy. I'm just getting a bit of chicken. Oh, yeah. Look. Dirty bastard. <laughs> Dirty! Dirty lad. No, oh, you didn't eat the monkey part though. <laughs> oh, oh, my fire's dying and all. But I'm sure we can sort that out. Where's my spork? Let's have a quick dunk of this. And then I'm going to turn the camera off because I want to get some wood on the fire and I want to have a taste of this. It smells lush like. It's got a few bits and pieces of mushroom, chicken. Mmm. Oh, it's like going to a proper Chinese restaurant, this, like, cheers, Rooney. You've surpassed yourself again. Absolutely fan dabby dozy. Do you know what that saying's off? If you do, put it in the comments. I'll see you later, because I've got a Jack Daniels to drink, a nice curry to eat. It's a na some of my Nana's bread. <laughs> eh? Mm -hmm. You enjoying that, Rooney? I am. Peshwari naan with Chinese. Happy days. Right, camera's going off. See you later, peeps. Right, well, good morning, everybody. It's about uh, quarter seven in the morning. It's been a, quite a windy night last night again. So I've just been listening to the radio there and apparently we've been getting hammered by another storm last night. Hence why we had all the, the bad weather last night with the rain, the snow, the wind. So three storms in one week. Didn't realise we were going to be out in a storm like. But in any rate, the weather's been crap, but the camp's been great. <laughs> I've had a good laugh. You know, and we're not fair weather campers in any way. We don't just come out when it's sunny and sunny and warm will come out in all different types of weathers but it's come to that time of the camp the part we're all hate organizing your kit getting it tidied up getting it packed away and going so that's what i'm going to be doing this morning so i'm going to pack up some of my bits and pieces get it organized inside the camp inside the tent sorry you see me here it's still windy there's still a bit of rain this tent's held up quite well. I think I've got me my poles come down off my top because I can feel it on the top of my tent here and hence why I'm getting a bit of dampness coming through. I'm just hoping it hasn't pierced anything. But I so that means my top might be down. But in any rate, nothing new there. So I best get myself dressed, get some bits and pieces packed away, and go and check on my top. So I'll see you in a bit. It's still a little bit dark out there as well. Anyway, see you later. Right, well, that's me up and about. I've got a brew on the go. I've been doing a little bit of uh, organisation inside the tent, getting a few bits packed away, putting them to one side, right, to get my Bergen packed. Because obviously, we've got to go home today. I don't know if you're picking up on the outside, but the outside of the woods, it looks like we've had a lot of snow last night because it's white out there. But I, 
Rooney's up and about down the bottom there you can see it's like a swamp marsh down here like swampy as hell fire worked all right last night not that we got much heat out of it because we the wind was blowing it the wrong way sometimes but other than that still a good fire see if my water's boiling yet getting there so i'm going to have my traditional two porridges and a cup of tea and then i'm going to get myself sorted you can excuse the light but uh yeah i'm going to get myself sorted get packed away as much as i can i'm going to leave me top up to lastminute.com but everything else i'm going to get packed up as best i can like so it's a little bit breezy a little bit cold but not too bad but anyway i'm going to stop waffling and i'll bring this back there right. Yeah, it's a cracking little area. It's the back of me set up. Oh, yeah. I saw all the wind hitting, hitting through it last night. Oh, that's my survival top. It would be a survival sleeping under that lake. And then my freebie free camo top. It's up quite high lake. And then we've got Rooney down the bottom. Oh yeah, it's a nice little area this, some dry spots, some wet spots, but oh, you can see all the snow through the trees. Alright, time to get packed up, the worst part of the day. Right everybody, that's us packed away as you can see, it's, uh, this is where I was lying, so all day is a little bit of flat ground. All right, a couple of branches cut on a tree. I've got all my kit packed there. I've got a load of rubbish in the bottom, then some rare, uh, my wet top and things, and my jacket and that in here, and my grill and that. So this is where we had the fire area and that. Obviously there's a few little footprints. We'll kind of get rid of them all, but we'll try to get as rid of as many as we can. And this is where we had our fire pit area. Everything's been dispersed of, put back up to where it originally come from. All right, obviously there's a couple of little branches lying on there, which is uh, either here or there, like really, because it's a woods, that's what happens. All right, so then we've got Rooney's area down the bottom here. Obviously, you see in the video that we had to dig a trench, and as you can see, it's all being filled in, and it's all being covered up. And that'll, uh, that'll just blend in naturally over time. All right, and this is the area where Rooney kept and it's all nice and clean tidy he's the same as me he got wet tops and things in a carrier bag and rubbish and things and that's it so I'd just like to say from me thank you very much everybody for watching i hope you've enjoyed it it's a new location that we're looking at and we're going to be doing a lots of adventures up here going to come up and do a few recce's during the day not be on camera like obviously and we're going to try and find a new spot hopefully find somewhere perfect to build a new camp fingers crossed we do if we don't then we'll just be enjoying the area doing ground well and hammer camping and things but it's a fantastic area loads of water source and loads of nice areas to look at but anyway that's enough waffle for me please like comment and subscribe it does help the channel leave a comment if you wish check all the links down below there's a lot of uh, other things there what instagram pages my facebook group buy me a coffee and if i've mentioned anybody or any sort of kit if i can i will put the links down below if i haven't put them there request them on a comment and i'll try and get them for you as best i can anyway that's enough from me cheers everybody see you next time and now the final words of mr rooney dum 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 kiddies if you're coming up in this sort of weather yeah it was supposed to be getting better be prepared for the worst. Get yourself down to B&M's and buy yourself a mermaid's uh, costume because it obviously helps in uh, <laughs> places like this. And when you get home, check your toes on starting to web up because uh, I think mine are now. Um, apart from that, it's been an adventure. Um, and because of my past experience, recent experiences of uh, trees falling down around us, um, there was a few gusts last night, so um, yeah. my bottom bracket was talking to my lips and my sleep, and I just couldn't get over it. It was all bubble, 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 bubble.
and then I realised I was like um, a bit nervous and twitching so anyway after an hour or so put my earbuds in and went to sleep and then woke up to a bit of snow and a bit of snow more dampness and a bit of snow so next time I think we'll just bring my paddling pool because we'll be able to just you know get in it and all that yeah yeah you'd be able to wear your mankini oh again get in <laughs> again, again. anyway you back everybody stay safe leave no trace see you later